Okay, so this is a kayak, uh, Pelican Kayak 100 Angler, uh, and uh, I bought it from Dick's uh, Sporting Good. And what I'm finding out that is that I'm, I need a kayak cart, so I need to build one for my cart for my kayak. And so I'm gonna utilize the scoper hole here, and basically. Uh, the scoper holes on these kayaks are different from other kayaks where it's only, see, it's it's as big as my fingertip, the holes, and, and so I don't want to cut into this, so what I want to do is um, I'm going to uh, make my own uh, design in uh, making a cart for this kayak so I plan to use the one inch PVC uh, pipes here to go over the cut scalper holes like this where it stays like that and uh, just modify one for myself I did some research on eBay uh, carts cost the universal carts cost $32 on up to uh, 60 80 100 bucks depending on the model that you buy so I'm going to make one that, that is specifically for this boat and uh, so I've already uh, got the stuff here, the parts to make it work. I bought these PVC uh, uh, adapters here. This will be for my axle, my wheels, this is just extensions and this cross here is for the underbelly just as a support beam. Uh, for the kayak. Um, so this is a documentary on uh, my building a cart for my kayak and uh, so here we go. So then to this, this is the first part I've uh, managed to build this part. This part will go here like that and then I need another part that go here and then a cross um, member here and uh, basically this cross here will go like that and there will be uh, a beam that goes this way and a beam that goes that way and uh, that's that okay so I've made this Okay, and so there, this cross will go in here. Okay, now just to let you know, I've already measured the boat, and I've already know what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so before you anybody do anything like this, they have to measure the boat, the scupper holes, and make sure that all of these fits before they uh, work on their boat, or else they're gonna have to have a. Uh, to uh, redo things that are not matched so I've already measured it and this is the plan well actually this will go like that okay so um, and then this will go like this and this will go like that okay this is where the axle of the wheel will go they will go the axle will go through here out through uh, from here into here out through here and uh, uh, let me show you the wheels and these are the wheels right here. They're four bucks a piece. I bought them at uh, Harbor Freight Tools. They had a sale this weekend. Um, you can't find uh, things like this at Lowe's or Home Depot for four dollars. So this is actually a very good deal, and uh, hopefully it's good for sand. Uh, you know, traversing over sand because it's so fat, and it's air. You can air it up. See, and uh, that's the Schrader Vell right there. Um, and you could air it up or air it down uh, for different terrain. And so, yeah, uh, you had a. So I, 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 I'm making two of the the cart, the uh, kayak cart here. So I have two of those um, uh, kayaks. So basically, I'm making two of the carts. So, um, yeah. So here we go again. I'm gonna basically I'm gonna put I'm gonna insert this into here and uh, 
and build the uh, cross member here. So, okay, so as you can see, that's how the cross member look. So, <clears throat> let me show you how this thing goes in. This thing will fit right over here, the scupper holes, and uh, like that. I'm going to make a beam, a cross beam that goes here to here. And I'm going to make another one that goes here to there. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to make it so that I'm going to drill holes into here so that I can um, put uh, cotter pins in there so it could be disassembled if need to. On second thought, I'm not going to put cotter pins in here, but I'm going to put cotter pins in here. So uh, these two uh, bars that goes up and down the stern and the uh, underside of my um, boat, they can be taken out. But uh, yeah, so that's how it's going to look like right now. And then I'm going to glue this up later. Okay, after that, I'm going to assemble this. Uh, put an extension from here to there and then put an extension from here to there and from there I'm gonna put <coughs> this axle here okay this is the axle that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna put this onto the wheels so hopefully everything will look good Okay, so this is how this is a mock up setup. This is how it's going to go on, and as you can see, um, so yeah, so this is how I'm going to do it. Notice the bottom here that's where the axle will go through. I'm going to have to drill a hole through here, straight across, and a hole through here, straight across, and the axle will go through there. okay so this is the cross right here and this is what I was talking about this will help uh, aid in um, stabilizing the uh, uh, the pipes here so that it won't come off okay you have to literally yank it off to make, make it come off so yeah so I'm gonna start making the um, I'm gonna start drilling the holes here they'll be like I say it, I'm gonna drill a hole from here. It's gonna go straight through. Okay, this is where the axle is gonna go through. Here. Okay, so this is how I'm, um, I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be on the vise. This piece right here. I'm gonna drill a hole right here that goes straight through. Okay, and uh, see this hole right here? That's my guide right here. So here we go. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. The wheels are going to go here and here. And this is the truss that I was talking about, the cross. And so that's how it's going to look like. And so I'm going to start welding the, wheel, the wheels here onto it. And what I'm going to use is this. I'm, I'm going to use the washer here as the end cap for the wheels so that the wheels won't come off. I'm going to just weld this here. Weld here and then tack here. Tack a blob of a uh, weld here and it should stay. And the wheel should stay. And here I'm going to be. Uh, the thing is, there's only one of me, so I can't weld and I can't do this at the same time. So that's why you're seeing me do this. And I hope, I wish I have a uh, stand so I can. I'll show you how, how I do this, but here we go. So this is the muck-up setting, okay? So what I'm going to do is, okay, right here, I'm going to tack this here. Actually, I'm going to weld it here, okay, this washer right here. I'm going to weld it here so that to prevent this ever from coming out, okay? And then after that, <clears throat> I'm going to weld uh uh, weld a piece of, uh, well not, not metal, but I'm just going to weld it here, uh, weld, uh, how do you say it, tack here, so that it will never 
uh, this this bearing here with this wheel here will never scoot this way. Okay, so um, that's how I'm gonna do here, and this is just a mock-up setting. Basically, I'm 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 done. I just have to weld it and uh, install it. And this is how I do. This is how I built this thing. Okay, so here I go. I'm gonna finish the product here. Okay, and just uh, this that's how this thing looks like. Okay, so um, it's not hard to build. It's really easy. I spent about 30 bucks total, and um, well, I, I forty dollars, forty dollars total, and I was able to build two of these little uh, kayak carrier. So yeah. I, I, I it's fun it's rewarding so let me finish welding everything here and then in the morning I'm gonna uh, install it onto the kayak and I'll show you how it looks like okay so this is it this is the complete build up took me about an hour to do this because I have all the equipment already that's why I uh, welded the uh, washer Okay, that's the, uh, let me get to better lighting. That's the washer right there that I welded. Um, I also tacked in a little bit here so that it won't, the, uh, the bearing here won't go this way. So right now, as you can see, it's pretty solid right here. That's the only movement that it has. Uh, this is the cross that I, that I was talking about right there. It'll serve as a support. Uh, on, on the bottom of the uh, kayak and uh, that's that uh, I've also made an additional one <clears throat> this one's kind of different however I'm gonna take that off and I'm gonna put the cross here as well and uh, yep it's all fun